this is your girl Rashika, the host of the question and answer series. Welcome to my channel. And this is my bestie, Abigail. Hey guys. Abigail Joy Genevieve Pinar um, Jackson. Yes, um, and Mitchell. And Mitchell, for Mitchell. Mitchell. Um, right, so we're doing a series on um, relationship. So people send us questions and we answer them. Um, to the best of our ability. Yeah, independent, impartial, so and this is ABC News. And uh, yes. Go like. like and like. comment and um, subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. subscribe. Um, yeah, I've been so curious about that thing. A rugby player to many female fans. Um, Darian is Darian. Look, at Darian doesn't drink and he doesn't party. So after a game, he would come to me. Mm. But I would understand if it's a other. I don't know how I would feel if it was a rugby mm. guy who loves drinking and partying. It would have been a problem for me. So story. yeah. So the thing is, you need to know how strong you are and what what's your type. For you mm. to basically to make it work mm. as really and luckily he was yeah. like that naturally I, yeah oh now games then okay for shakes and then yeah, and yeah. Okay. so it's not a bit difficult for me um i'm also very confident and um i've been through a lot so if mm. he should feel that he's entertaining girls or even if you have if he has fans i don't mind i laugh about it now mm. you know it's like for me to know okay some mm. people think my guy is hot but um, if he should entertain it or go for it or whatever, um, yes, I'll be devastated and stuff. But like I have confidence in myself and I know that a guy really loves me and sees a future with me. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. So mm -hmm. if he should, then it's by he can help by help, but he can't freak on him. That's my ask, Abby. That's my <laughs> that's my motto with like Abby. How do we take in this world of tech? I like being courted, old school shit. I'm 32 with two kids. So what have you done? What is quoted? Mm, I don't understand. What is Google? Let me tell you, it's stupid. It's actually Afrikaans. Wow, it's so dumb. What is quoted? Why? Let's Google. Dean! Liffy! Oh yeah, come on, boy. Boy, you're in Liffy, right? Liffy, what is quoted? What does quoted mean? I like being quoted. C-O-U-R-T-E-D. Let's Google it. Yes, yes. A man pursuing a woman. So basically, you like. Oh, okay. And not take stuff. Uh, no, man. No, They're man just giving it to you like an example, I guess. But in the simple sense, it's just to be pursued. Mm. So you want you you want to feel like you're being chased. Okay. Okay. No. Um, Either for a relationship or to be married. Okay. So my thing is this. If you like being. I think there's guys, uh, guys out there that's also old school. So ne, I'm gonna say take money. Mm. So um, no. these guys no. that's old school. So I think that if that's really what you want, it's not impossible to find that. Mm, there is someone that will. Yeah, I can put it in dicks. Yeah, I can put it in dicks. Girl, check out my thirty two with two kids. Check out three kids so hard. Check out all three men. Yes. Yes. It's like a war word to break. Okay. Just Google. Interreligious relationships. How do I introduce him to my Muslim family? I took Terry and Omen. Hmm. I said. It depends. Also, it depends on how strict they are. Like. Is there a reason why you're scared? Like, mm. did he tell you he's not going to convert or... Mm. Did you have the conversation? Uh, because if that's the case, then... Um, if that's the case and your parents are, like, very strict and you're, like, very religious and stuff, then maybe you shouldn't introduce him. Um, first think about whether you are willing to go away mm. with it as he is. How far are you guys going to go? Like, do you uh, see yourself with this person for years and years? Abby, why do you know what you later is? You that person in the relationship, that's what I'm asking oh. you. I don't know what you do with me. <laughs> <laughs> like I know my boyfriend gets really frustrated frustrated with me. Yeah, it's a great yaka dash kill or shana laugh. Like I lose stuff all the time, like my bank card. I and you forget my... where you put it and you must place it in. So I guess a lot of patience from from your partner. I think my boyfriend has a lot of patience in that sense. Because I literally forgot, I threw in petrol one day and I forgot my bag at work. And he was super upset. But then he got over it. Like. Basically, she needs to realize that she needs to work on herself also. Because mm -hmm. we can't laugh about it all the time. Mm -hmm. So we feel say, okay, I need to better myself. So I have a conversation with your boyfriend. 
But I also think ye, I, I got better. Mm. I'm not as bad as I used to be. Mm. And I think mm. for a guy to be in a lot of bit worse because he's supposed to be like the, the man. Yeah, the, a standard. Mm. So I understand that you're frustrated. Maybe you should tell him that. Mm. Um, that you think it's not on and you should work on it, please. Yeah. Because it's not nice that you are the person that's uh, being the responsible one. And also, I don't say to say it. I don't say to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Yeah. In a relationship, is it wrong to expect to go half half with big expenses such as rent and groceries? I don't have a problem with it. I am not the issue type of person. Okay, but you don't expect it. That's the thing. That's mm. a question. Like I also don't expect it. I pay my own stuff. But mm. the thing is, it depends on your financial position. Also, Jay can never buy you. Okay, you can pay for it. You can pay for it. So he can't say that he doesn't need to pay for it. So he needs to stay there with you as well. He needs to eat from that food as well if you're expecting it from him. Mm. But it also depends on the financial position. Maybe he's not in a position to give, to, yeah. to give you off, then it's totally acceptable. Mm. If you're not in that position, then it's totally acceptable. No one should expect that of you. So mm. it depends on the situation. And if he has more, then why not? Okay. How do I escalate the relationship if he is not Muslim? Kind of difficult when par parents has high expectations. Um, you need to have a talk with him, love. Uh, mm. You need to ask him what his plans are so that you also know what your mm. future holds. Um, your are you wasting your time? Oh, my English is not quite good for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically you need to have a conversation with him. If your parents I think are it's really important. It. Especially yes. you guys like... You guys yes. feel firm about it? Yes. I also feel firm about it. You need to have that conversation. Yeah, In the beginning, important. like... You can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. And do it in the first few months. Don't wait till you are year, dating for a year. Okay. Address it immediately. I want my boyfriend to appreciate me more. What can I do? That sh I feel like you shouldn't even... Want that. Mm, it should just come naturally. That way. That way. I would need to obvious. Yeah. So what I would say in this situation is, my advice is out there, just be a little less. Be there less. Mm -hmm. Everything less. Um, mm. Because it seems like you giving too much. 50 and he's giving 50. Mm. So, Germany so at your path it can as Jay full, I appreciate it for me. Mm. Um, I think he's taking stuff for granted because you, you just like are giving. Yeah, you're just giving. Yeah, you're just giving. So Wees a bietje minder, laat die minder van jou hoor, doen minder, he has to come look for you and stuff and then eventually if he sees there's something wrong or if you tell him, or if he tells you that you've changed, then you tell him, okay, this is the situation, um, I feel like that, that you're not appreciate, appreciative of me or that, yeah, you don't appreciate me enough and then if he doesn't change, then... So that he can see that he's not, you know, coming yeah, to the party, party, he's not giving his 50%. And it's quite he's not giving his hundred percent. You mean? Sorry, hundred uh, I was thinking of fifty fifty, but oh, okay, sorry. In one, in okay. one relationship, <laughs> like he's he's half. He's not sharing that half with you. Mm. Um, have the convers like first do the thing where you you're less, because mm -hmm. guys do not appreciate girls at all too much. Mm. They don't. So and they tend to them. take you for granted. Mm. Ala khata. <laughs> <laughs> so just be less. But then, when, if he asks, that's the other thing. Sometimes they don't even ask. Then you know, girl. <laughs> but then if he asks, then, tell, then you can tell him that you don't like the way um, he goes about things. Like, you feel unappreciated. How do you know if a guy is really into you or just using you? Actions. If you're doubting it. And I know it sounds like a cliche and everybody says it like, Action speaks louder than words, but it's really the truth. And you can really see by someone's actions or what they do for you. And um, like what's important to you is important to them. The mm -hmm. effort that they make to see you, um, the people that you love. Um, mm -hmm. Like I appreciate it when I appreciate when Dean actually does something for Shika. Mm -hmm. um, like I love that about him because mm -hmm. he knows that I love Shika a lot. And he also like invests in doing good mm -hmm. things like you know Shami is a good boyfriend yeah so so i like that so mm -hmm. uh, that's just an example that i'm, mm -hmm. I'm using i just want to use an example mm -hmm. so of, that you understand what she means with actions yeah it's so small things, it's small, small things, things like guys. that that you look at mm -hmm. and you're like okay wow you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's the small things that do count and actions 
Yeah. And 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 if you doubt it, it's already a red flag because um, yeah, you're not supposed to doubt whether he's using you or not because yeah, um, you can see if someone loves you, eh? Right? Mm. Like even if you're not been a, if even if you're not even in that relationship for a long time, you can see if that one loves you and mm. if that one's if that one is like sincere and honest, then you know if you see something. And if you're you doubting, know, ask yourself why are you doubting. How do you meet someone new when you have been hurt so many times? Opening up is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a short story. Like I have a show, a Chica's Closet show, and in season one I had Craig Lucas on my show, the boy's winner of 2018, and he's um, his heart has been broken in the past, and he told me that um, I told him you'll find someone else, and he's like, no, no, I don't want someone new, and blah blah blah. I'm going to my party. And a few months later, I is no duck for leaf. Uh-huh. Um, so the thing is, my my answer is my point that I'm making is sometimes it happens when you're not looking for it. So maybe you shouldn't have that thought of looking for love. Sometimes it finds you. Mm-hmm. Focus. I think it's also focus on yourself and um, it will come naturally. Like if you focus on yourself and trying to build up yourself, it, it just attracts. The right person mm. if you build up yourself so maybe put the focus on you and not the focus on wanting a relationship because sometimes it blinds you and then you focus on that and then you kind of don't get that person because you're focusing on that too much focus on yourself um, so that it finds you like Shika said because um, you know what attracts men when you like look after yourself and you, you love yourself confidence and all that that attracts it Okay. How do you move on from your first love? Known this person for eight years and dated for four and a half years. Kijk je ons allemaal was maar bij first love. No, it is difficult. Um, okay, actually, my first love, but I'm a little grow with love. Your first serious relationship. Yeah, I'm a little grow with love in the life, but um, it's difficult. Uh, I think what helps is meeting other guys. That's always the number one thing for me. Um, meeting other guys, spending time with other guys, um, even if rela- the relationship doesn't last, but it makes you oh, oh, it, it is ambitious. Jay, Jay, and a good what you like. It's not, it's not that one person that you that you only know. Do you understand? So, um, opening yourself up to other guys, um, um, even if it's just chatting to them, talking to them. But the thing is, now if you really want to get out of there, you must be willing to. To to, to, to to take the steps for staan jy but as jy ja as jy jy altyd gaan omgaan dink en nie moeite gaan maak en jouself gaan net afsnuif van ander mense dan gaan jy nie uit kom me um uh, be okay another thing jy kan nie die selfe vriende het he. you will never get over him if mm. you both have the same friends en jy is nog elke nad ek met sy vriende mm. en jy hoor nog heel dag van hom he. nie dan gaan dan gaan dit werk he en baie communication soos jy sê daai you need to cut it. Via communication. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The third one. Cut that communication. Now, as if I'm unchecky. Kijk hier, hy wil nie met jou heen nie. Weet jy wat gebeur het? Die maar sê maar, hy wil nie met jou heen nie. Hy kan nie hy nog, nie nog vir jou vrou gaan net heen. Wat het jy vandag gemaakt? No, 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 no. no. Cut that communication. Hy kan nie sy brood al kan gebotter heen nie. You can't. The thing is, you won't get over, over him if you still talk to him. We can promise you that. Ons is al 27, 28, amper 28. Um, kijk hier, ons was al daar gewees. Yeah, what else? No, communication is key for me because I bring few memories to her and put what it is and thank you again. So communication and then um, if you do like you're obviously going to miss him because you just got out of the relationship. Have also have a, con- a middle conversation with yourself. Like tell yourself he wasn't good for you or whatever happened. Tell yourself that story again and make you realize that okay, we didn't work out for a reason. So mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. Write it down. Mm. Oh, listen to the psychologist. Mm. Write down the reasons why you guys didn't work. Mm. What made you unhappy? What happened? And then as Jeff Hit of Jebel we fall fire hoodies or what to call Jebel no bell of it. Especially when you take so long, you tend to yeah. go back. I kick Jenai Hookies and Jake Kate Nile and say for yourself, okay, this mm. is why. Because it's a reason. Hey, that's such Good advice. Thank you, bestie. Okay. Glad we could help. 
look at last one this is tough this is a difficult one for me because guys i am not perfect i don't have the perfect relationship uh what do you do when that when you when both you and daddy and can't agree on something i'm gonna answer and she can also answer mm -hmm. but say do not follow them so this is i think this is the thing we we fight about most because okay um i can be objective of me objectively i can say my say she can have her say but for daddy it's difficult if i if i um don't agree with something have you noticed mm. that this is um that's something we are working on um i'm trying to make him understand that it's okay not to okay. not to agree and it's okay to be wrong the thing mm. is daddy and studied law daddy and his lawyer so same mindset is so when mm. but i say that as when as vet. in my personality is the opposite mm. so um we will be struggling with that i'm not even going to lie to you um yeah that person must show you basically that okay um he or she is trying is willing or at least trying to 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 change or mm. um to accept that you she can't always be right mm. um but what can you say friend i think ek moenie antwoord hê nê ek dink sy gaat stil bly nou if she doesn't agree with something she'll stay quiet sometimes mm. but, like, but she I have a different personality mm. like oh. mm. yeah, 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 yeah. i'll still stay quiet i'll be less now and wait till the situation calms down oh yeah. and then, then you bring it up again I'll now see i don't like that i can't bring something up again verstaan jylle ek moet in die so moment ja yeah. <laughs> but the thing is i need to work on my communication as well mm -hmm. like you say say like praat na die tyd nog mm -hmm. baby so um this is how you do it now <laughs> so th then if when everything is calm she's like baby so can mm -hmm. we talk about this oh yeah right it's like a clear awkward mm -hmm. but okay, can we talk about this um because in that in that does happen i didn't like that I know that you feel so where you coming from da, 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 da. so I always try to listen where he's coming from and then um I tell him where I'm coming from but we don't always agree on everything mm. but I tend to take the step back I'm that person he's the smooth a strong you know mm. macho man <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I am the one that's okay for now uh. I'll wait for later <laughs> 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 okay guys that was the end of um but can session. i just say one thing but we also not like we also have our own issues like i'm not perfect i still work on my relation on a daily but what is important is that you do talk about what you was part of mm. and um also don't be too you know pushy try to see the other person's reasoning behind it and i think if you always reason um mm. then you guys can work it out some way somehow mm -hmm. that's my advice check you out um yeah okay you know, yeah that's the end of today's show um thank you so much for thank you guys thank you for coming in girl oh, it's a pleasure <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed leave some comments leave some love um mm -hmm. tell us what you think um yeah we're not right and we're not wrong but we try or we give our advice yeah much love ciao